Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back! Antarctica is the Earth's southernmost continent and it contains the South Pole. The name Antarctica is a Romanized version of the Greek compound word. Aristotle wrote in his book Meteorology about Antarctic region already in 350 BC. With these facts about Antarctica, let us learn about the discovery, geology, weather, ice sheets, and more. Of the total 14 million square kilometers in Antarctica, almost 98% is covered with ice sheets. Almost 90% of the world's ice in form of the ice sheets is available in Antarctica and contains about 70% of the world's fresh water. The average thickness of sheet is 2,160 meters, which is 4,776 meters thick at the best. With temperatures as low as 55 minus Celsius degree, Antarctica is the coldest place on Earth. It is the emptiest, driest, coldest, highest and windiest place on the face of the planet. Antarctica is the fifth largest continent and is the double the size of the Australia. However, it doesn't have a capital city or an official language and no country controls it. 52 nations had now signed the Antarctic Treaty, which was first signed on December 1, 1959. This treaty was established to dedicate this continent to peaceful research. Researchers from across the globe live in the continent for conducting studies and researches. As of report by Council of the Managers of the National Antarctic Programs in 2009, nearly 80 research centers operate in the region. During the summer season, there are almost 4,000 researchers in Antarctica, while this number gets reduced to only 1,000 in the winters. Antarctica is the largest desert in the world. It only gets about 2 inches of snow each year. The snow there is old and it never melts. For the last 2 million years, some parts of the continent have been devoid of snow and rain. There are no land mammals in Antarctica. There are also no reptiles in Antarctica. Eskimos and polar bear are not from Antarctica, but from Arctic. You cannot find trees or shrubs in Antarctica. Ants are not found in Antarctica. However, they are found everywhere in the world except a few islands. The male emperor penguin is only warm-blooded animal that stays in Antarctica through the winter. Adult penguins live in Antarctica. They weigh just 10 pounds and can dive up to 600 feet under the water. Even though krill are about the size of the small paper clip, krill swarms in Antarctica can be seen from space. It will be an interesting fact that only invertebrate animals can survive in Antarctica for the whole year. The largest of these animals is a wiggly smidge called Belgica Antarctica. Antarctica is the windiest continent on Earth, with wind speeds reaching 200 miles per hour in some places. The lowest ever temperature recorded in Antarctica was at the Russian Vostok Station in 1983. It was 89.6 minus Celsius degree. 15.5 degrees Celsius is the highest temperature ever recorded in Antarctica. According to U.S. National Snow and Ice Data Center, the Antarctic Peninsula has warmed 2.5 degrees Celsius since 1950, which is five times the rate of the warming measured for the rest of the world. The Antarctic ice sheet is the largest single mass of ice on the planet. Ice covers 99% of Antarctica. 29 million cubic kilometers of ice is deposited in the ice caps in the continent country. The largest iceberg that broke away from the Ross Ice Shelf was 170 miles long and 25 miles wide. In case of the meltdown of Antarctic ice sheets, 60 to 65 meters of rise in the sea levels will be seen across the world. Mount Erebus on Antarctica is the southernmost active volcano on the planet. The Trans-Antarctic Mountains that are 3,500 kilometers long divide the continent into the east and west sections. This range is among the longest mountain ranges in the world. Vincent Massif at 16,362 feet is the highest point in Antarctica. A Russian exploration first spotted mainland Antarctica on January 27, 1820. Fabian von Bellingshausen and Mikhail Lazarev were the first confirmed sighting of Antarctica in history. 
Three days later, British naval officer Edward Bransfield spotted the tip of the Antarctic Peninsula. American sailor Nathaniel Palmer sighted Antarctica on 17 November 1820. Although most historians dispute this claim, American sailor and explorer John Davis was the first person to step foot on Antarctic land in 1821. Between 1851 and 1853, American sailor Mercator Cooper was the first formal landing on mainland East Antarctica. The first person to reach the South Pole was Norwegian Roald Amundsen. He beat English explorer Robert Falcon Scott when he planted a Norwegian flag there on December 14, 1911. The first woman ever to set foot on the continent in 1935 is Caroline Mikkelsen, the wife of the Norwegian whaling captain. The first recorded child born in Antarctica was the Emil Marco Palma in January 1978. Argentina sent Palma's pregnant mother there in the Nefort claimed portion of Antarctic. In the Southern Hemisphere, summer of 1996 and 97, the Norwegian explorer Borgi Ausland became the first person to cross Antarctica alone from coast to coast. For this crossing, Auslan also holds the record for the fastest unsupported journey to the South Pole, taking just 34 days. British explorer Felicity Aston was the first person to ski across the Antarctica. It took her 59 days between late 2011 and 2012 to travel 1,084 miles. Scientists drill cylinders of ice from the region to study their properties. This ice is formed hundreds of thousands of years in the past. So to speak, if you had a scientist friend doing the research in Antarctica, he could give you an ice dream from the water frozen during the times of the Roman Empire. Would you believe that Antarctica has no official time zone? Another cool fact is that during summer months, more of the sunlight reaches the surface of the South Pole than the equator during the similar period of time. While you don't need a visa to enter Antarctica, you don't need a passport. Antarctica Peninsula, which is also known as the Banana Belt, is a place in the continent which is visited by the tourists due to its mild climate as compared with the rest of the continent. You could enjoy one long night and one long day if you were in Antarctica, in the area below 60 degrees south. In there, sun sets in March and rises in October. The largest wind current in the world, the circumpolar current, flows clockwise around the Antarctica. It helps move salt, nutrition, heat, and marine life over the world's main ocean basins. Antarctica is so cold that the water vapor in the air freezes and forms crystals called diamond dust. You can spot a waterfall with red blood like water in Antarctica's McMurdo Dry Valley. Interestingly, Earth's core keeps from freezing some 300 lakes beneath Antarctica. A remarkable discovery of fossilized spermatozoa preserved within the secreted wall layers of 50 million years old. Clitoral cocoon from Antarctica was made. It is the world's oldest sperm. Wales Fargo Bank provided the only ATM in Antarctica in McMurray Station. Antarctica is the least populated continent on Earth. In the winter, only 1,000 people live there, and in the summer, there are 10,000 people. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe to this channel and hit the like button.